We have breaking news tonight of the sexual assault investigation at a Catholic high school on Chicago's southeast side. One of the players suspended as part of the investigation was the son of the head baseball coach, and the incident was captured on video. Craig Wall is in the control room now with the latest details. Craig. Jeff, as Chicago police begin the process of interviewing witnesses, and that started today, they were unable to confirm the existence of a videotape, but a source familiar with the investigation told me tonight that several boys who were in the locker room saw one of their teammates recording the incident on his cell phone. Now, the incident happened on March 23rd in the boys' locker room at St. Francis de Sales Catholic High School. The victim, an 18-year-old member of the team, was held down, his pants and underwear were removed and he was then inappropriately touched with a baseball bat. The victim fought back and the players involved ran out of the locker room. Now the school handed down five day suspensions for five players who were directly involved, including the son of the baseball team's head coach. Some who are seniors will not be allowed to attend prom tomorrow night as a result. Now seven other players who witnessed the attack but failed to report it received two day suspensions which ended today. The incident came to light, a source tells me, because the victim's email was hacked after the incident and was used to send inappropriate emails to the school principal. Now, when confronted with that, the boy then uh, was facing disciplinary action. The victim revealed what happened to the principal in the locker room. The school has only referred to it, though, as a case of bullying. Chicago police are investigating it, though, as a possible sexual assault. Now, the lack of transparency by the school has some parents upset. Some are also wondering where were the coaches? Why weren't they in the locker room? We reached out to the head coach asking for a comment but did not get a response. Tonight, police say they have been made no arrest and the investigation continues. And we will continue to follow the story. Craig Wall reporting. Craig, thank you. Yep.